In this video, how to deploy Mozilla Firefox using Microsoft Intune. The first method, we can deploy it using the line of business app type. First, download the MSI installer of the app. Next, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app. From the drop down menu, select the Line of Business app option. This app type supports the MSI format, which we'll use. Select the MSI installer file you previously downloaded. Once the MSI file is selected, the necessary fields will populate automatically. Specify important details like name, description, and publisher for the app. You can optionally upload a logo by selecting an image file. On the assignments page, choose how you want to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on the selected groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will be listed in the company portal, where users can choose to install it. Use the Uninstall Deployment option if you want Intune to uninstall the app from managed devices that previously had it installed. You can deploy it to all users or all devices, but for testing, it's recommended to deploy to a small group of devices first. If you see the message your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To check the deployment status on a device, log into the device and allow some time for it to sync. Alternatively, you can manually force the sync from Windows settings or the company portal app. After a short wait, the app should be installed successfully. In the Intune portal, you can monitor the deployment status. On the overview page, the deployment status is displayed in a graphical format. You'll see information on how many devices installed the app successfully, how many are still installing, and how many encountered errors. Please note, it may take some time for the deployment status to appear on the Intune Admin Center, so please be patient. Alternatively, instead of using the MSI installer, we can deploy the app using Win32 apps type. This method is more complicated, but it gives you more control over the deployment. The first step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add a Win32 app to Microsoft Intune, 
you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .dot and tunewin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Next, download the MSI installer. Rename it to setup.msi. Then copy it into the input folder that you've created in the previous steps. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, right-click on the Windows Start icon then open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the CD command. Now, run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.msi file. and the path of the output folder for the generated .intunewin file. Press Enter to continue. The application is now doing its magic, creating the .intunewin file for us. Once done, go to the output folder to verify that the .intunewin file is being created. Finally, deploy the app using Microsoft Intune as usual. This time, select the app type as Windows App Win32 instead of Line of Business App. Select App Package File. Browse to the Intune output folder and select the Intune package file that you converted in the previous steps. Enter the required information such as name, description, publisher name, and logo, then click Next. In the program page, all settings are configured you can leave them as default. In the Requirements page, specify the requirements that devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the operating system architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. For detection rules, it allows you to check if an application is already installed. It can also prevent an installation of an application if it conflicts with another application that is already installed. You can use either a custom detection script or manual detection. In this video, we will use the manual MSI rule type. 
the MSI product code would be populate automatically. Software dependencies are applications that must be installed before this application can be installed. When you supersede an application, you can specify which apps will be directly updated or replaced. Assign the app to a group of users or devices. For testing, it's recommended to deploy to a small group of devices before deploying to all devices in your organization. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end user notifications and app installation deadline. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. In some cases, you would get the notification Mozilla Firefox installation failed. As you can see, the app is actually installed on the managed devices, but Intune cannot detect it. In the Intune Admin Center, you will see a report indicating that the app failed to deploy to devices. The root of the issue is that when deploying Firefox using the MSI installer, Intune relies on the MSI product code to detect if the app has been installed successfully. However, if you check on a client where the app is installed, the MSI product code is not available. This is a known bug in Mozilla Firefox. To correct the report in Intune, you need to change the detection method for the deployment from MSI to file detection method. Enter the path of the installation folder. And the file name of the executable file. Wait for the sync, and the report should now show that the app has been deployed successfully on the clients. If the app is no longer needed, we can edit the app deployment to remove it automatically from Intune. Select the Properties section, then Edit the Assignments. Remove the group of devices or users from the required section. Then add the group as the target group of Uninstall section. Wait for sync, then the app should be uninstalled from the target devices automatically.
The third way, we can quickly deploy Firefox using the Enterprise Catalog in Microsoft Intune. The Enterprise App Catalog is a Microsoft solution to simplify the life cycle of managing applications with a pre-packaged catalog of apps from the Intune platform. Before you begin, Enterprise App Management is an Intune add-on as part of the Intune suite. So, make sure you have an Intune suite subscription before continue. Once you have the required license, the Enterprise App Catalog option will be available from the drop-down menu. Click Search the Enterprise App Catalog, then search for the wanted app. The Configuration tab will show you the available app types, including language, architecture, and version. Leave the settings on the app information page as default unless you want to make it available from the Company Portal app. In the next page, we can check the pre-filled installation parameters. Usually there is no need to modify these, but if needed it is possible. The same goes for the requirements page, which has already been completed by the vendor. The Detection Settings page has also been pre-filled. Assign the app to the target users or devices. Review and add the app to Intune. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in next videos.